Here we use the re switch as a simple on off. Re switch here, just to show you. Basically activated by a magnet, brings two contacts together. We've got a 5 volt input here, LED, down through here. There's a re switch. We bring our magnet that's on the end of this pencil over the re switch and it closes and it turns off. Sorry, it turns on. Take it away, it's off. There, it's on. So it's momentary. You have to have the magnet in place for it to switch on or off. Here again, we're going to use the read switch just for on and off, but we're running it through a relay. So we do this, and it's on, off. So what we're doing is we're activating the relay coil through the read switch. This is connected to common, normally open. When we activate the coil, it switches to common, switches over to common, normally open, and allows current to pass through the LED. So why would you we would use a relay? Well, if we wanted to power some, turn something on and off a bit more powerful than just an LED, but we wanted to limit our power source in to the read switch, but we could have a different voltage coming through the um, the context of the relay to maybe drive a motor. We could have maybe 24 volts going through there on a separate circuit, and we only need 5 volts to run the relay. So one of the obvious issues with a reed switch as opposed to a rocker switch. Rocker switch, when you switch it on, it stays on. It's also got to be manually operated. With a reed switch, it's only on when you have the magnet in contact. So what happens if we want to turn something on and have it remain on and then switch off again using reed switches? We will look at that shortly. So if you want to turn something on and it stays on, with read switches, we're going to do, use two read switches. So for, say, for example, I wanted to turn on a motor and have it stay on until something happened. Could be some kind of conveyor system as something moves along, moves to a distance, engages one switch, turns on the motor, moves further distance away, turns off the motor. So here we have read switch on the left, turns on the motor, LED in this case, the right hand read switch turns off the motor on off as you can see what's great about a read switch is it doesn't need to be right beside it for the magnet to operate it so what we've got here is we've got a latching relay that read switch is operating coil one that read switch is operating coil two and we're going at the moment through common normally closed again see the operation again on off